our 10 on your side investigation inside the mind of a serial arsonist. At 5 o'clock, we gave you a glimpse into the documents and videos that opened a lot of doors for investigators who are looking into dozens of fires on the eastern shore. Certainly disturbing. Charles Smith III confessed to most of those 60 plus fires. Initial interviews with Smith suggest this was more than retaliation or even just fun. Instead, it may have been for love. And 10 on your side, Phyllis Palka has been pouring through all of these documents and the interviews, and I know you have more on that aspect of the case list. Yeah, absolutely, Anita and Stephanie. We were there last week when Charles Smith admitted to setting those fires in court. Now we know he planned on doing that, admitting to it from the beginning to protect his fiance and the other suspect, Tanya Bundick. Shouldn't we for me to just take the rap on all this? Interviews with police now made public. Listening to the first hours, Charlie Smith would not admit to his fiance's involvement in the Accomack County arsons, other than she dropped him off each time. You're taking a rap for yeah. much of these. Yeah, but we want to make sure is that whoever either was involved in these is not going to continue. I mean, we're basically trying to stop this. No, no, you're going to continue. You're not taking a rap on after hours of questioning, he gives in. You know what? I'm just going to tell you everything. Tell us, man. Now it's time to come clean. Get it off your chest. She said all of those. These first ones? Yeah. Tanya, any comment? Tanya Bundick is currently facing one arson charge and one conspiracy to commit arson charge. Smith says she played a bigger role. Outlining each fire, he says she lit 16 out of the 67. Why? Why would this couple, who had been together two and a half years, turn to setting fires? <laughs> Court documents reveal the reason, an emotional connection that started with fire number one, Dennis Drive in Parksley, on November 12, 2012. Smith told investigators it was Bundick's idea to burn it. Afterwards, she opened up, sharing things she had never told him. He didn't want to disappoint her. That connection turned into protection throughout the next week. It was this fire on Drummond Lane in Tasley where they almost got caught. The documents say he dropped her off, she said it, but couldn't get back to him before law enforcement got there. He picked her up here, the Virginia Department of Forestry building. He says he took over the job from there. And that's the only reason I took this over because if somebody had to go down, and more than likely she's going to pin this all on me and I'm fine with that and I'll tell you now, I'll go to that courtroom and, and agree to every one of them. Why she wanted to do this is vague. Smith says in the interview, Bundick's child was having some personal issues. She was stressed about, out about it and this was her way of expressing it. That combined with some of Smith's problems sheds more light on why this happened. I'll get into that part of this complicated story at 6. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.